Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Welcome to the next 24 hour stealth camping adventure. Today we'll be camping out at Denny's 24 hour restaurant in the rainy city of Concord, Ontario, Canada. We are going to be eating a bunch of awesome meals off the Denny's huge menu like the lumberjack slam, the bourbon bacon burger, a T-bone steak, and of course the classic eggs Benny. If this van life adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, our next stealth camp. 24 hours at Denny's. Woohoo! Been wanting to do this for a while. We are in the rainy overcast uh, city of Concord, and it's just north of Toronto, just south of Canada's Wonderland. And uh, a lot of people know where Canada's Wonderland is, but uh, we're at this 24 hour location. Although on the internet, it says it's only open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. I've got a whole bunch of things planned for today and I hope you enjoy it. It's not raining too hard right now. I've got my rain gear. I've got extra clothing just in case I get soaked, but I'm starving. I really want to try this big slam breakfast thing they got. Let's go in there, grab it, come back here and eat it with you guys. Let's go. Try this lumberjack slam, please. Uh, sunny side. Let's go white bread. Oh yeah, blueberries in the pancakes would be fantastic. Oh, and I need a large black coffee, please. Thank you. So over here, this is where the slams are. And they have all these different slams, and then this is the one I decided to go with: the lumberjack slam buttermilk pancakes. I've added blueberries to that, of course. Grilled ham, bacon strips, sausage links, eggs, hash browns. Your choice of bread, fifteen dollars plus the coffee. Definitely going to be doing this one of these milkshakes later on, man. in the car ladies and gentlemen I have been wanting to do this uh, for over a year let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating shall we I'm gonna set it all up and then we'll go in for a close-up just like usual take a look at this amazing breakfast from Denny's the lumberjack slam with upgraded pancakes to the blueberry uh, over here we got a denny's coffee uh, we've got the peanut butter to the jam we got the whipped butter we've got the syrup and check this out we've got that ham crispy bacon linked sausages my favorite hash browns right there and of course two sunny side eggs and i'm so glad they put this little uh paper in there that'll help stop the leakage into my car are you guys ready for an epic breakfast i sure am let's do this even brought my own knife and fork for this because i knew i was going to be eating full size meals pretty much for the next 24 hours and i uh, decided to uh you know if i'm not going to just eat pizza and stuff uh, and burgers uh, i needed my knife and fork set so this thing did come with i think is there denny's on both sides and yeah, there you go i love that logo great logo so uh, Denny's did come with this but it's not uh, crazy hot and I wanted ah I wanted to show you guys the logo the coffee is super strong man Woo! thanks Denny's I'm gonna be up all day no naps for Ken uh, I want to dig into these um, sausage 
eggs. Let's do a little piece of sausage. Not bad. A huge piece of bacon. It sure was crunchy. A nicely grilled up piece of ham. Mmm. Sweet and savory. I'm gonna uh, cut my egg into four. And I like to mix my hash brown, a little bit of egg. I'm gonna have to scoop it like a shovel because it's not gonna stay on my fork. Now, look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Denny's, I missed you. It's been a long time. The last time I was out of Denny's was with Paul when we were going down to the United States and we hit the Denny's in um, um, Belleville. That was the last Denny's I was at. Check out this bite. Sausage, ham, bacon, eggs. If I can somehow get this little piece of hash brown on there, that is the ultimate bite right there. As you can hear, it's pouring outside. I'm glad I went in there, got my food, got back here as quickly as possible. It's a nice big tent. So the people that aren't I want to sit on the patio right there. They're protected from the rain and the sun. Let everybody know in the comments below if you love Denny's breakfast, because I do. And have you had the Lumberjack Slam? Because it is slamming. I got two pancakes. I'm going to use two whipped butters, one for each cake. I'm going to move this one cake over get out that whipped butter and we'll spread that on that one just like that look at it melts that pancake still quite warm nice try to get it over as much of that cake as possible we'll flip this one back repeat they gave me ample amount of syrup let's pour it on oh my goodness here it goes oh yeah this is going to be again a crazy messy meal to eat in the van the stealth camper oh it's not a thing of beauty guys i love these extreme syrup close-ups oh i'll try not to use the other container of syrup unless we absolutely have to chances are these pancakes are the ones that absorb oh yeah that's a lot of syrup man jeez <laughs> oh goodness me oh my oh are you guys ready to eat this i am i'm so glad she offered the uh the blueberries because i love blueberry pancakes denny's 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 you guys outdo yourselves okay now the uh this yellow paper is starting to lose to the gooey battle that's going on here if the rain does stop, I'm going to try and walk as much as I can. Check that by day right there. Taking a small time out. Drink some crazy powerful coffee before I dig into the rest of those pancakes. Strawberry and peanut butter on your toast is the way to go. All right, let's put this together. Once again, they buttered it and then flipped them towards each other. It's perfect. Once again, I love to mix it together if I can. Try to have the equal ratio of peanut butter to jam. And that's it. Perfection. Peanut butter jam and Denny's coffee. Perfect pair. Woo! I'm gonna have my last bite, finish my coffee, clean all this mess up, and then we'll go hang out in the back for a while until lunch. The perfect life. All tidied up, cleaned my cutlery for the next meal, put everything away, garbage is over there. Uh, they do have a garbage can over there. They got another garbage can behind that car. So I've got lots of places to put my garbage. But let's head to the back. I won't be using that today. 
it's kind of cool. So I might even change, get into something a little bit warmer. As you can hear, it is pouring rain right now. Uh, so I've changed into a long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, a little more comfortable to relax uh, sitting on the cot here. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really long 24 hours sitting in the van, just waiting for the, the rain to stop just so we can at least venture out. But uh, I don't know. I guess I might be having a couple naps today. One in the morning, maybe one in the afternoon. I don't know. I won't be able to sleep if I have a nap, though. I'm one of those kinds of people. I try and stay awake as much as possible, so I do sleep throughout the night. Anyway. I guess I could play solitaire. That'll work. kind of calmed down a little bit and kind of just walked around the parking lot and uh, what I've noticed when I was sitting here for a bit is that there's a main railway that goes past here uh, when I first got here I heard this rumbling sound and it sounded like one of those big pickup trucks that has like straight pipes off the engine kind of thing and I'm like wow that's really like thundery bassy and then I realized that I went on Google Maps and I noticed that there's a huge train yard and uh, train line that goes right past here. And uh, so I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't keep me awake all night when it is time for sleepy by. So it is around two o'clock in the afternoon. Let's go back into Denny's. Uh, I looked up their menu and I really wanted to try their bourbon bacon burger cheddar cheese, bacon, sauteed mushrooms, fire roasted bell peppers and onions, bourbon sauce, lettuce, tomato, red onions, pickles on a brioche bun, served with wavy cut french fries. And I'm definitely gonna be doing one of these amazing milkshakes they have here at Denny's called the cake batter. Are you kidding me, Denny's? Let's grab that burger and that milkshake, come back here and eat it with you. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm definitely gonna try this bourbon bacon, sorry, the bourbon, yeah, bourbon bacon burger. You can get season fries, hash browns, onion rings. Uh, wow, let's do onion rings, please. Onion rings? And I'm definitely gonna try that uh, cake batter milkshake, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Zinger. Take a look at this lunch we've got. Oh my goodness, that smells amazing in my car right now. Over here we got that cake batter milkshake. It looks like it's my birthday once again. Two birthdays in one year. Over here we got that brioche bun. Sesame seeded up. Look at that patty down there. Bacon, cheese, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, white onions and look at those onion rings now he only gave me uh ketchups but luckily rusty had an extra white vinegar and a salt in my special little dispenser here of all my supplies oh my gosh guys this is going to be great let's take a sip of that milkshake first here we go That is probably one of the nicest flavored milkshakes I've ever had. I started getting verklempt. It tastes like you've got that strong French vanilla bean flavor, and then you kick it up a notch with cake batter, kind of like 
I'm not sure if you were like me as a kid and your mom was making that, uh, not the Stern Frost one, but the, uh, the Betty Crocker instant birthday cake mix. When you get to lick the beaters or lick the spoon or clean the bowl after mom's finished with it, that's what that tastes like. Wow. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't, I don't want to stop drinking that. It's so good. Of course, we're going to have to put this vinegar on here first. Again. There's a lot of people out there have never put white vinegar and salt on their onion rings and then they email me to let me know they tried it and they either love it or they hate it. And some people are just like, that was awesome. Thanks, Ken, for letting me know that you do that. And another person said they tried it just for me and hopefully they didn't put it all over their onion rings because they didn't like it. So. It's a preference thing, so let me know in the comments below if you've ever put vinegar and salt, or salt and vinegar, you have to do it vinegar salt, uh, on your onion rings, and if you, I have to have it with vinegar and salt on it every single time. Check out the thickness of that ring. My precious. Mmm. That was definitely a one bite onion ring. Onion rings that big are definitely a two to three biter. Crunchy, soft onion on the inside, beautifully cooked, mm, golden brown. They keep getting bigger. Look at the size of that one. Ooh la la. Look at the thickness. That is a very thick onion ring. I think that's the thickest onion ring ever. That's a huge slab. Oh my gosh. It's so big, it's juicy inside. Mm-hmm. That's the first time it ever took me four bites to eat an onion ring. That was definitely the thickest onion ring I've ever had. Oh no. Oh, look at that. All greasy on the bottom already. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Look how gooey and messy and beautiful that is. I came to the right place to live for 24 hours. Look at that beautiful. The uh, the avocado bacon one looks good as well. But I think this bourbon sauce that is leaching all through this box, like the box has a huge puddle of the sauce and it is just drenched. I'm definitely gonna, luckily it's raining. I can just have a shower right beside Rusty. Look at that burger, oh my gosh. This is gonna be amazing. Here we go, people. Mmm. It looks like it's a ham pressed patty too. I love sauteed mushrooms on burgers like this. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I don't care if it's raining later. I'm going for a big walk, man. Yeah, this is a lot of food. This is a crazy amount of food. Going from that to one of these beautiful onion rings too. I have to fold that one. I can't remember. Uh-oh. I did a video here. I don't know, a year, two, three years ago. And I can't remember what I ate. I'm hoping it wasn't this. <laughs> I've done so many food reviews, people. I have no idea what I've eaten at some of these places. And I forgot to look what I ordered here the last time I was at Denny's. <gasps> oh boy. I don't think it was this. I'm hoping it's not this. Please don't be this. Oh my gosh. As soon as I'm finished this, I'm going to have to go online and check to see what I ate at, at Denny's last time I was here. It doesn't really matter. The first time I did these things was just for a food review. Now I'm living here for 24 hours eating all the things that I want to eat at Denny's and this is definitely it. 
this is definitely it. That breakfast was perfect. Tonight we're gonna do the T-bone steak. That bourbon sauce is sweet, savory, and tangy all at the same time, adding to the amazing complexities of that burger, and that is a complex burger. I'm losing bacon, onions, mushrooms, pepper, more mushrooms. It's probably all over my face, but I don't care. Pickle on top. Two more rings, then we're done. So this was probably a 2,500 calorie meal. Fantastic burger. Fantastic onion rings. Next time you're at Denny's, please order this and you'll enjoy it as much as I did. And of course, pair it up with a cake batter milkshake. Because that thing rocks. This is how good it was, guys. Look at that. I almost want to like tip the box over and drink this stuff. Time to clean all this stuff up and go for a walk and try to burn off these calories. It's going to be a long, long walk. Let's go. safe and sound all right so this walk was an hour and five minutes totaling five and a half kilometers and I burned uh, 358 calories my total um, steps for today is over 11,500 which is great I'm so glad it stopped raining for a bit now we can kind of like again enjoy the day and walk around a little bit that's nice <music> and the next thing i'm going to do tonight is the t-bone let's go grab that and the cinnamon sugar pancake puppies I bet they're going to be yummy, and so is that steak. It comes with two sides. I'm not sure what two sides I'm going to get. Probably just potatoes and maybe something green. I need some greens. Let's go get some food. Hi there. Hello. How are you doing today? All right. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm going to do your T-bone steak and uh, your cinnamon sugar pancake puppies. All right, for sure. What's your size? Mashed potatoes over fries. Yeah, corn, broccoli, broccoli, please. Sounds great. So it looks like you can have it, T-bone steak, up to 13 ounces, uh, or you can also like have it with eggs, steak and eggs for breakfast kind of thing. So you can have the dinner or the breakfast. Check out this fancy, awesome dinner we got going in the stealth van. Over here we've got our, what looks like a perfectly cooked T-bone steak. It is pulling away from the bone. Less work for me. And look how juicy it is. Oh my goodness, we got some fat piling up. Oh look, there's some fat right there. That looks nicely done. Over here we got our broccoli. And over here we got our mashed potatoes. And right here is our HP sauce. Definitely better than A1 sauce, right people? 
Bright HP sauce lovers. All right, let's eat. This is going for a little bit of those potatoes. Very buttery, very creamy. It's almost like they threw it on the grill quickly. It's a little bit of a crunch to the edge. Next stop, we'll see uh, if these are overdone or not. And let me know in the comments below if you like me. I like my broccoli with that almost raw crunch, but definitely steamed. Don't like when they're soggy. That one was good. And now for the T-bone, it'd be kind of nice to do the uh, the morning T-bone with the eggs, eh? Check that out. It is dripping with goodness. That nice steak. Dip it into the HP sauce. Here we go. Mm. Nicely cooked steak. Let's see if I can get a, a cross section here for you guys. Look at that. I don't want it to drip in my car. <laughs> it's, it's so juicy, it's going to drip in my car. Check that out. Whoa, don't drip. I think it's done perfectly. You don't want you don't want a well done steak. I don't anyway. I love my steak medium, but I prefer medium rare than medium well. Again, let me know in the comments below if you're like me. Which one should we do? Should we do this one or this one? Let's go with this one. And again, does that not look good? Does that not look cooked to perfection? I love saying cooked to perfection because it's always cooked to perfection. Then you will dip, dip it in that HP sauce. If you've never had HP sauce, look for it in your grocers, your grocery store, your grocery, I was gonna say your grocer's freezer, but no, you gotta check it out. Let me know if you agree or disagree because it is a perfect add on to a steak. Cheers, everyone. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. This yellow piece of paper is definitely not handling this meal whatsoever. It's falling apart fast. And then you gotta check your steak and make sure there's no paper on your steak. Should be good to go. What a great way to end a day like today. Having a nice T-bone steak with a couple sides and some HP sauce. Dinner's all done, time for dessert. Here we go, instant close up of the cinnamon sugar pancake puppies. You can see the sugar, you can see the cinnamon and they definitely look like they're done to perfection. Look at this, oh my, that looks like the same kind of stuff that you'd put on a nice cinnamon bun. And I bet it's gonna be a perfect match. I wonder if there's anything inside. I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Pancake puppy number one. I should have bit it before that. Sorry. No ball. Oh, stop, don't drip. Nothing inside. Just pancake goodness. All right, this guy is definitely next. It's got a little handle on it. We can pick it up like that. Dip it into that beautiful icing. Nice and thick. Pull it out nice and slow. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that making you hungry, guys? For some cinnamon pancake puppies? It's making me hungry. And I already ate. That's good, man. Really, really good. Deep fried pancake batter with cinnamon and sugar on it with some icing. You can't go wrong. Let me know if you've tried these. Let everybody know. And what did you think? You like them? Do you get them every time you go? I'm getting them next time I go. It's now 7.45, I'm all done dinner. I'm gonna go for a little walk and then maybe hit the gas station up, use their washroom, uh, buy a big thing of water because I've run out. Let's go for the walk. 
digest this food a little bit and then we'll go into full stealth mode. Check that out, blue skies above me. And the sun is trying very hard to peek through. So it's so nice to see blue skies. Unbelievable. End of that chaotic day of nonstop rain. We might even get a nice sunset. water for the night and now it's time to go full stealth mode. Kick off our shoes. I'd hate to put up the window coverings and that like I said I missed the sunset so I'll leave uh, at least this side off. It's quarter after eight. I don't see any sunset at the moment. So I'm gonna put up a few of the windows. Let's put up this one. I noticed when I was editing the last show that if I put my headrest all the way up to the top, it just helps narrow that gap uh, of privacy just a little bit more there we go we got uh, one two three windows done we just need two more and uh i guess i could pull this one out too and that will be ready to go when i want to do the final stealth cover again i'm going to wait until it gets darker it's nice to be able to see out for a little bit longer until you go into full uh, stealth mode <music> guys as you can see it is possibly you can see 1008 I am going to uh, probably just again watch a little TikTok and then then hit the hay have a good night guys and we'll see you in the morning Seven o'clock. Denny's is probably open now. So, uh, yeah, I had a rough night last night, man. Jeez, very, very busy area all night long. Um, yeah, that bar on the corner, they were open till I think two. So, cars were leaving all the way up till two. The train. Uh, one train made a very thunderous connection, I guess. It's kind of like, I'm not sure if you've ever heard a lake freezing at in the, in the winter in here in Canada or anywhere else. When it gets to a certain temperature, the, the lake will, the ice will crack and it makes this do and, it, and the, the sound shoots right across the lake. And it's a very interesting sound. And the train makes that same kind of sound when it connects to more linkage of trains, train cars. And so it makes this very interesting 
hit and then chain reaction through all the other cars. So uh, I don't think I've ever experienced that. So that was kind of cool, but it uh, woke me up. And then at four o'clock in the morning, the uh, sprinklers, the lawn sprinklers went on. And of course, there's probably one right behind my car. And it just went right across the back window. And that woke me up. It scared the crap out of me. Same thing happened at uh, Costco. But it was more of a, like, I guess the heads come up and then it goes like that. This one did the whole sound effect morning. And then all the garbage trucks came uh just a little bit after that and so the garbage trucks came to the one at uh i'm guessing either denny's or tim hortons a lot of noise there and then the gra gas station they got their dumpsters done and that was a lot of noise there and uh wow very very busy plaza and uh other than that, I slept well. I just got woken up multiple times throughout the night. So uh, I'm going to be tired all day. Not a big deal. Uh, I'll just get some, go to bed early tonight, maybe. That would probably be the, the trick to catching up on sleep there. Temperature-wise, it was great all night. I think at 4 or 4.30, that's when I finally got into my sleeping bag. Other than that, I was fine. A great temperature. Just nice to have a cover on. Uh, so I guess it is time to get the eggs Benny and then head home. Are you guys ready? Let's get Benny. First things first, gotta take down the stealth. I did also get up at uh, 5.45 to see if the sun was gonna give us sunrise this morning but it didn't overcast cloudy there we go no more stealth roads busy gas station is not again there's one guy over there having his morning cigarette yummy uh, nobody else over there forgot to take this down We'll fold that up in a second. Nobody over there. I could hear that truck rumbling away. I'm not sure. Like he probably stopped there to go grab a coffee at Tim Hortons. All right. So he told you the sprinklers did all that. There's a car right beside me. Yeah. Oh, this guy knows who I am. <laughs> That guy's waving to me. <laughs> All right. Got fans everywhere. Had some fans last night. Got some fans today. I'm starting to really like Concord. Nice place. Friendly people. Okay. Bed's all made. Everything's back to normal. Again, I need to vacuum. I am so looking forward to this Eggs Benny, guys. It's going to do the traditional one. They've got a whole bunch of, like, southwestern things. and Nope. Straight up Eggs Benny. Hello, good morning. I would very much like to try your eggs, Benny, please. With half browns and a large coffee, please. But you guys have like a salt and pepper on the side? Okay, thank you. Our last meal at Denny's, finishing up a 24 hour stealth camp. It was awesome. There is my beautiful Denny's coffee. I hope it's as strong as it was yesterday. And then over here, look at these eggs, Benny. They didn't ask me if I wanted them soft or not. So I'm thinking that they may have made them hard and I don't like hard yolk eggs, Benny. And of course those beautiful Denny's hash browns. But again, it's a English muffin on the bottom. Toasted English muffin should be buttered. And then we have a slice of ham, and then a poached egg, and then hollandaise sauce. And that's what makes up one of my favorite breakfasts of all time right there. So we'll see how Denny's makes theirs, see if it's any good, see if I'll ever order it again. Let's eat.
But first, of course, a little sip of heaven. Adult wake up juice. Salt is not the most important thing on this meal, but it definitely is a good option. I don't usually use the whole package, but she gave me extra ones. So Denny's, thank you very much for that. That will come in handy on days I forget to ask for salt and pepper or people forget to give it to me. I'm gonna put it in this little spot right there in the middle. And then we've got our pepper. I might have to use two of these. I don't know yet. You never know how much they give you in these little packages. Here we go. There you go. Done. Woohoo! Oh, I also noticed that, that I'm part of the 55 plus club. I turned 55 this year and I'm on the Denny's old person menu. So we'll have to come back maybe and do another 55 plus stealth camp and eat as much stuff on the healthy 55 plus menu. Ask for healthier options. I don't think so, man. I'm at Denny's. I want stuff like that. Fried potatoes. Let's cut into this first egg and see if it's runny or not. It has to be runny. All right, here we go. Did Denny's do it properly? Nope. Oh well, let's see if they did this one properly. Nope. It's supposed to run all over and mix with the hollandaise sauce and stuff. Just for you guys who don't know anything about an Eggs Benny, that is not the way you make an Eggs Benny and has to be runny. When you go to a uh, certain type of breakfast places, those certain restaurants will ask you right away, how would you like your eggs? And it's usually the mom and pop shops that do that. How would you like your eggs? Runny, perfect, done. But uh, I'm not sure why Denny's doesn't ask. Denny's, if you see this video, explain to us why you guys don't ask how we would like our eggs. Because poached eggs on a Benny have to be runny. Ask any food person in the world. There we go, we got our English muffin, ham, egg, hollandaise sauce, pepper, salt. I like their hollandaise sauce. I like this ham. I wonder why I lift up the ham. I don't think they toasted the English muffin either. I like it crunchy. Yep, they grilled the English muffin, so uh, I guess the, the grilling process didn't make it crunchy, so I didn't, it didn't taste like, I couldn't get that texture of crunch. But uh, having it grilled, Denny's, that's a great option. I don't mind that at all. Looks like they buttered it and threw it on the on the grill top. Yeah, here we go. There's a nice big lot. So you can see the uh, the grill marks. Whoa! That almost fell on the floor. So the question is, Ken, would you order this eggs Benny again? And I say 100% yes. I love everything about it, but I'll definitely remember in my noggin, even though I'm 55 plus that uh, the eggs have to be runny. So if they, if they say, well, which Benny would you like out of the four? Traditional uh, or classic Benny, please undercook my eggs. They have to be runny. Please, 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 please. Thank you very much, Denny's. And another heads up, uh, Denny's, uh, these, this yellow paper thing that you guys use doesn't hold up for very long. And as you're cutting, it just, it, breaks apart and then becomes part of my food. I'm trying really hard not to cut into it, but uh, it's it's like dissolving or something. I gotta check my food every time before I eat it. Cause paper's not on my diet. Your hash browns are dynamite by the way. Cheers to Danny's guys. Thanks for the great food. Ah, and the strong coffee. Woo That's what I call an eight bite Benny. Cut it into eight bites, done. Last bite of this wonderful breakfast. Hmm.
All right, breakfast all done. Just got to finish off this coffee, but we are all done here at Denny's doing the 24 hour stealth camp. Can't wait till they're open again on the whole 24 hour clock because I'd love to buy something at one o'clock in the morning for all you lovely men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. That bite will be for you and I will do it one day. I will order food at one o'clock in the morning from Denny's. That would be an, an awesome awesome video once again i'd love to thank all you guys for all your support on these videos the people on my patreon helping out every single month the people on the channel memberships here on kbd productions tv and my vlog channel you guys rock and of course all the people who just subscribe watch every video thumbs up every video and comment on every video you guys are amazing if you want to show your support for me doing this video just for you hit it with a thumbs up ding 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 but if you're hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I dropped down over there, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.